Hi my lovelies. So I just wanted to quickly show you what I got. So you know Amazon now and again sends me a voucher and I'm, I just belong to an Amazon affiliated program, something like that. Uh, so I find really good stuff on Amazon and I, then I can share it with you. So I got this top. Do you remember in one of my Amazon try on hauls, I had a red dress just like it and they sell tops like this. So let me just stand it up. It's just like this. This is in size UK 12. It's nice because you can also wear it like this of of shoulders uh, it's it's the same beautiful red color like the dress also what i got i got two pairs of my favorite flip-flops which were uh, ipanema um i prefer ipanema to havaianas yeah i prefer they are much more squishy comfortable than havaianas um i've had this pair for years and they are not as easy to get these days they used to sell them in my local department store but they haven't for a while so i got these beautiful yellow ones and these bright greens i might order some different colors this is something that in the summer i just wear on daily basis every single day oh one very important thing go a size up in those so i am normally uk 5 which is euro 38 uh, but in havaianas i'm euro 39 uk 6 and usa that's 8 so uh, because they're brazilian i think and day sizes are like one size smaller so yeah remember to go size up in those i also got another one of those the wet brush i have one but mine is now looking a bit uh, funky so i needed another one i love these brushes you know when your hair is wet is at its most fragile um i usually brush my hair with a white coat white tooth comb anyway uh, but this is very good you can gently brush your hair even if it's wet so i got another one of those so yeah i thought i'd just pop in here quickly to show you what i got my hair my hair looked really pretty yesterday uh, we went to uh, post sisters so we celebrated her and her son's birthdays and I curled my hair and it looked really pretty. This is my hair, I've just woken up like this. I haven't brushed it. I find that when you curl your hair, it's best not to brush it at all. So that's what I look like today. It quite likes nice, it looks quite nice the next day, you know, to just put it up. Also, I've got a date for my hair now. Uh, so my hairdresser is gonna come over on the 5th of August, no, 5th or 6th six i think of august and i'm going to have my proper highlights and lowlights done see my roots are coming through again and like here that hasn't been done for ages and i think at the back now the bottom of my hair is just mainly dark so yeah i can't wait to have my hair done and have it to cut it properly because remember paul trimmed it for me and it's not very straight and he also cut off far too much but actually i quite like it that short if i get anything else throughout the week i pop in and show it to you hi my lovelies so i've just finished filming this look uh, you have seen it last week uh, and i wanted to show you this top that I just got and also wanted to talk to you a bit about jewelry so this top just came from Rive Island I really like it um, I will stand up in a minute it's just very unusual uh, to show you just let me unclip my microphone so can you see it's just one on one I better talk to microphone on one shoulder and it's got one sleeve i don't know i just find it 
very unusual and it's uh, like a powder pink and the um, fabric is sort of silk. And this is another top from River Island. I love this one. I don't know what it is with me and red, but lately I really like red. Uh, let me stand up. So, it's just, oh gosh, loose here and on one shoulder. Now, I ordered this one in 12, UK 12, and it's fine everywhere else. It's a bit tight here but it doesn't feel uncomfortable and I think if I ordered a bigger one um, this would you know drop far too low I don't know I might order the 14 and and see if if it makes much difference because the pink one right let me sit down the pink one um, is I ordered in 14 because the pink one was going under my arm and I knew that it will probably be tight on my boobs. So yeah, I love this one. Anyway, I'm gonna change back to the other top because I want to talk to you about necklaces and you won't be able to see it with that top. Okay, so the other day I've cleared out my jewelry box. I buy jewelry all the time, but I don't wear it that much. And because I was clearing it all out, I saw exactly what I've got, where it is, and I've been very much into um, layering necklaces. I've noticed that we are back to almost like eight, 90s, you know, when Madonna used to wear all these different necklaces. And I've been loving doing it. So I even decided, because I, I do buy a lot of like really like cheap costume jewelry but sometimes when you buy the really cheap stuff it just goes black so i've decided to buy a couple more maybe gold chains and nothing too expensive like just nine carat just so they don't lose color so this necklace i've had for a while do you remember it was sent to me by um Hitchcock Madrona. So I will leave you the link. This is the shield necklace. This necklace came on like a oxidized, um, sorry, I will be ha will have to be changing lighting because it's going all over the place. Uh, this came on like an oxidized dark chain, but I had it cha changed to gold one. Then you remember Paul just bought me that flat snake chain and that is only nine carat gold. So yeah, so I, I just like to uh, layer my necklaces like with different textures and different lengths. So there is this one. Then I've got a couple of chains from Marks and Spencers. One like this. And these were probably like 15 pounds. Um, and I know that their jewelry um, stays good for quite a while. So you usually have got adjustable bit here, so you can adjust the length. But if you can't, I would strongly recommend, I've got a chain extender. This one is from Pia, but I'm sure you can get it anywhere. Um, just a tiny chain extender. So if you want to use a necklace and it's, you know, like I could make this one a bit longer. So chain extenders are really good. I think that might be nine carat gold or maybe it's gold plated. Um, I will leave, leave you the link. But if you just Google, you know, gold chain extender, then um, I'm sure you will find plenty. Okay, so now with this one, I want to make it probably the shortest so I will I will even go higher than the extender because it's got quite big holes so I can still do that so it's almost like a choker style and then I've got this sort of paper clip chain and that's from Marks and Spencers as well and these are very much in so this one I'm going to to go and do for like do like a longest so is there 
and I've been really, really enjoying layering my necklaces. I've also noticed how many rings I've got and um, I'm going to start wearing more rings. I don't know if I've shown you this one. This one I bought on Amazon and it is sterling silver, very inexpensive, but so, so funky. Let me zoom it in for you. It's got like a green stone in it. So it's, it's really nice and funky. It's adjustable as it happens, as it is, it fits me. But if you had a bit bigger finger, you can probably praise it apart a bit. Then you remember I've got this gorgeous ring from Caroline Brooke Jewelry. Um, I've got two more. This one I like wearing on this finger because it's quite big. And then I sometimes will wear it with this Amazon one because they both have green stones. Or I have a couple more rings from Caroline as well. Uh, these are silver ones with little stones. I will zoom it in a minute. Be quiet. So let me... I hope you can see. And I could put this one on this hand because this one has got a bit of gold here because these two are obviously gold. It's my wedding ring and, and engagement ring. So yes, lately I've been walking around like a Christmas tree covered in jewelry. Uh, but yeah, I've started sort of in, enjoying my jewelry again. Uh, and I think it's because I've actually cleared out my box. You know, at first you start with everything looking really nicely and then you just shove it wherever. You forget about half the things. I've thrown so many, like those cheap bits of jewelry that have gone black or green. Yeah, but I think that looks really nice. Um, another day, I will come back another day and talk to you as well about my, sorry if you can hear Max, he's here, just came to do his lunch. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, I will see you on another day and talk to you about nails and my gel polishes because a lot of people always ask me uh, about that, so I'll talk about that a bit. I will leave you the link at the end or whatever to this makeup if you haven't seen it last week. Uh, my hair, I've got a video as well how I do my hair like this. So I will see you later. Hello my lovelies. Uh, Louis and I, are, he's there, he's looking through the window. Uh, we are going to the vet, aren't we? Because Louis needs his glands done and he also needs his flea and tick treatment and worming tablet. Unfortunately, I'm still not allowed to go in with him, which I don't like. Have to just pass him over through the door. God knows what they will be doing to him and I know how distressed he gets without me, so I don't like that, that I can't go, go in with him. Just shut the window now. Oh, you just sneezed at me. Um, so yeah, I don't like that. What I was going to say, because um, I don't want to, you know, talk too much about the current affairs on my videos because that we don't want to attract the trolls. So, how about? Um, under my every Monday video in a description box I will leave you interesting videos to watch links to interesting videos to watch also if you are in the UK and you want the real news not the mainstream media news there is a very good independent news channel um, called UK column that you can watch every day they run the news 
in what's going on in the country so I will leave you a link to that yeah so I will leave you if I ever you know come across any interesting videos that you might like to watch I will always leave it right down the bottom in my description box so make sure you always check that on my Monday videos it might not be every Monday but you know I won't overwhelm you just do a few at the time <laughs> you don't like being here do you you don't like going to the vet in fact you don't like going anywhere we are going away soon for five days we're going to new forest in a beautiful place in the woods just my dream uh, with Louis it's a dog friendly place you can even take your dog into the restaurant so um, so yeah I want him to be you know to have his glands done and all that so he has a good time because I think last year when we went to uh, Cornwall he was the first couple of days he was quite miserable he didn't want to eat and I thought mm, I wonder if his glands are bothering him so we found a vet there okay we almost here uh, we found the vet there and we took him and he had his glands done and he was fine after that there's nowhere ever to park here look. okay we park here look how about that All right, my lovelies, I'm going to take him for a quick walk before his appointment. See you later. Hello, my lovelies. So, as promised, I will talk to you about my nails. Um, for those who don't know, I am trained in gel nails. I've been doing it for 10 years, um, although since the lockdown, I'm not really doing it anymore. I just do it for a couple of friends but I've got all this stuff I couldn't live without it so you always ask me what nail polish I have on and I don't wear ordinary nail pol polishes I haven't worn them for 10 years I just wear the LED gels soak off gels so not the hard gel it's a soak off gel which you can soak off with acetone and let me show you first all my gels okay so here are all my gels as you can see i have quite a lot yes yeah, so most of them are semi-lac and indigo nails i've got some madame glam here i used to use them a lot some opi gelish and that's about it so as you saw i've got loads of colors so here are like my reds oranges here i have pinks and purples here i have pastels on my pastels and on this one I have like really dark winter colors now I used to I started it so long ago that the first soak of gels were from Biosculpture I think yeah the ones that still came in a little pot and you had to apply them with a separate brush so they were the first soak of gels and then they started doing the soak of gel polishes which are much easier to apply just like um, nail polish although you have to know the rules and what to do I have a video that I've done a few years back how to apply and remove gel polish and I did it with Madame Glam gels I don't really use Madame Glam anymore not because it's not a good gel it's wonderful gel it's just that <clears throat> first of all the I think the bottles were quite big so 
you know i never had so many customers that i would go through them quickly enough and they were a bit expensive they are from us so i use something different now but i talk about that in a minute so i will link that video here i will maybe leave it at the end as well because the principles the technique is exactly the same for any soak of gel polish um doesn't matter what what brand you're using is the same principle on how to use it so i have that video don't want to really do it again because everything is explained in that video so i used to use gelish a lot um gelish gelish for me was a bit hit and miss some colors were really nice and opaque and some were really terrible and gelish was so incredibly expensive to buy it was ridiculous it was like 25 pounds i think a bottle so then i i started using semilac and then indigo labs indigo nails labs these two are like i think they are like leading to polish um gel companies in poland but they are here in the uk now i'm not sure about us but i'm sure they must be in the us now they have their own academies now so you can buy stuff from them here in the uk they are not as expensive wonderful quality i've been working with them now for ages not with the company i mean i've been working with the gel using the gels so semilac looks like this you've got the color number and name and a little color sticker on the top and indigo nails looks like this so you have the color here um i think they are both the same size seven yeah they both seven mils and that is plenty <clears throat> sorry and that is plenty okay as much as you know you can do it yourself at home you should have a basic basic knowledge on how gels work because when things go wrong you know you won't know why um, also they all have hundreds of different bases top coats so you need to know about which base for who is best and the same with top coats so obviously I will give you like two main ones that I use and you could use. So for Semilac, my um, my favorite base is the extended base. Um, it is quite thick. Let me show you. It is quite thick therefore it's really good for weak nails you can also extend your nail tiny bit you know if your nail has broken if you have the form you can extend your nail with this gel as well i love it i love it i love the thickness of it because also if your nail doesn't have the right shape you can build it up a bit with that gel so this is my go-to and for the top coat i use the no wipe top and i love those tops they are very high shine and also after curing in a lamp they don't leave any dispersion layer so you don't have to you know wipe any dispersion layer so i use these most of the time now with the indigo nails they have lots of different uh, tops top coats and base coats i have the uh, so the base coat that i use from indigo labs is the protein base the protein base this one is quite thick as well but you know to be honest i probably most of the time use the semi lac even for the indigo ones uh, you know they say especially if you do it professionally you should use everything from the same brand but you know you can use other ones now for uh, top coats my favorite one is the tip top and this one is again without dispersion layer so you don't have to um, wipe it with isopropyl alcohol and I also oh, I brought the wrong one 
Hold on. Oh no, there it is. And I also love the top coat, which is called Pro White. This top coat is very good for if you do French manicure or if you use any of those really pale, pale pastel colors. If you do nails, you know that sometimes with very light colors, because of the UV light when you're outside, they can change color, those, those light gels. They can change color, they can start looking a bit dirty. So the Pro White has UV filters in it uh, and it will make your manicure look brighter and true to color for longer. So these are the main ones that I lose, use and obviously I've got every color under the sun. You never see me without my nails done. I probably, if you do it properly, they can last you three weeks. Um, the problem is you start getting the regrowth, so you might not, not like that look. Most of people that I do nails for, they come every two weeks and I do my own every two weeks. Mainly because I just want to put another color on or whatever. Yeah, so um, that's what I use for my nails. Absolutely love it. I always say whoever invented the soak of gel polish so should be knighted giving, I don't know, a medal or something because this has revolutionized how you paint your nails. I could not go back to normal nail varnish. You know, first of all, it takes ages for it to dry out. Then if you don't let it dry properly, you will smudge it and then it just chips after a couple of days. With this, you put it on and it stays on for two weeks. Obviously, you have to look after your nails, but yeah, so I will leave you the link to that video, that specific video, how, how to do and remove the gel polish. And I will actually leave you the whole playlist as well, all about nails, because I talk, I've got some videos about how to look after your nails and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's what I use and what I do with my nails. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.